this one really drives me crazy and it's everywhere. You have to draw every day to improve. Kat, do you draw every day? I do not. <laughs> I can say that for sure. And I think it's just because life gets in the way. Why make your life more miserable and associate art making with misery by drawing every day? It's okay to take a break. I don't think that drawing every day even really helps. You need to draw intentionally. I do not draw every day. I mean, no exaggeration. I can go three months without doing any artistic projects because sometimes I'm freaking exhausted. I just can't do it. This puts so much pressure on people because Mia, if you're told all the time, draw every day and you're going, oh, I'm not doing that. How does that make you feel? Guilty. It turns some part of the creative process and art making into something that you feel guilty and associate negative feelings with, which is not what you want to happen to something that was originally a passion. That's just not a healthy relationship to have with something that you're supposed to love. I do oftentimes draw in a big spurt. Cat, your mom's garden. You were doing all these wonderful sketches. That was a moment. It, she doesn't have tomatoes year round. When I draw my mom's garden, I feel a lot of joy. I feel very inspired. And I, I do feel the life emanating from the plants. And that leads me to drawing. I don't try to force it. I try to understand if I want to do it at the moment. On the other hand, it's good to sometimes push yourself a little bit, not to the point of unhealthiness. You should be the deciding factor of that if that's something that works or doesn't work for you. I did need some initiative to take my markers and sketchbook out and then start to draw. It just needs that little push. Anything beyond that, I think, would be unhealthy for me. A good example for something I've tried to do and failed multiple times is Inktober. It's where people try and make ink drawings every single day throughout the month of October. It's the fastest way for an artist to burn out and lose inspiration and motivation is to try and constantly be active in creating. Don't punish yourself if it turns out, oh, my stove exploded. Hope that doesn't happen. But you're not going to draw in that circumstance. Mm -hmm.